Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type 4 effect of division by t problem number 1. Welcome back friends, let's discuss the first problem on effect of division by t. So this is the first problem. So let us start without wasting time. This is the problem in front of you. Please tell me which property do you find in this particular problem. Yes, see here. This is what effect of division by t. Sin t is divided by t. So this t is effect of division by t. And what about this property? This property is called FSP that we have discussed number of times. Okay, so what is the technique that we follow? Forget about the property. Forget about the FSP. Forget about the division by t. Then you are left with what? You are left with sin t. So let us first of all find out Laplace of sin t. Consider Laplace of sin t. And what is Laplace of sin t? 1 upon s square plus 1. Then what? What next? Which property you're going to remember first? Division by t or FSP? Which one first? Yes. First of all, you're going to apply effect of division by t and finally FSP because I have uh, dictated you a note in which this is very clear always apply FSP at the end. So FSP we are going to apply at the end. So first of all, we are going to apply by effect of division by t Laplace of sin t upon t is equal to yes. What is Laplace of sin t? 1 upon s square plus 1. And what is the effect of this t? Because of this t, we are going to integrate from s to infinity. To whom? Sin t Laplace. That is 1 upon s square plus 1. So this is the effect of division by t. Let us integrate. Yes, please. How to integrate this term? In the last video, I have given you seven formulas. This is formula number three. Go back and check. This is formula number three. 1 upon s square plus 1 integration. It is tan inverse s. And what are the limits from s to infinity? Let us move on. Upper limit minus lower limit. If you put infinity, this will become tan inverse infinity. And we know tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus. Tan inverse infinity formula number 6 pi by 2. And minus lower limit. So we're going to put s. So in place of s, if you're going to put s, that will remain as it is. That means tan inverse s only. Formula number 7. Pi by 2 minus tan inverse s is what? Cot inverse s. That's it. So this is effect of division by t. What left? Still one property left. And what is that? FSP. Always apply FSP at the end. By FSP, e raised to minus t sin t upon t. Yes, please. So due to this FSP, s will be shifted by. Here it is minus 1. With t, we have minus 1. Therefore, s will be shifted by plus 1. It's done. So what is the result? This s will be shifted by plus 1 and that is it. So that is the solution of e raised to minus t sin t upon t. Hope this is clear. In the next videos, we'll discuss few more examples of the same type. Thank you.